There's always been livestock in our family tree. Dad was in hiding in the war. He was a survivor. They managed to make it through the war, came to the United States in the late 40s. We're a slatted floor livestock operation, and we grow a few crops to help support that. Our philosophy has always been, if we take care of the cattle, the cattle will take care of us. So we put a lot of effort into the environment that we provide the cattle. And I really love watching this place grow and being able to come to work and work outside and just be around the cattle mostly. And then working with my family, it's really great that I get to work with my best friends and I've had a really great teacher in my father. He's taught me everything. Each of us bring a different strength to the table and the combination of those strengths is really what drives the success of this business. We all have our own separate areas on the farm. Nick takes care of the administrative work and Alex and I take care of the day-to-day -day outside work. Dad is more of an overseer, consultant, trying to just guide us in the big picture. Ricky is an exchange student who came from Panama. He lived with us for a year. Then one day while we were going to go play golf, uh, I was in a search of a, a herdsman, and he said to me, why don't you hire me? You know my work ethic, I work hard, and how do you argue with that? We source about 70% of our cattle from our cow-calf partners. They're in uh, North Dakota. We try to maintain an open communication with them. We maintain records of the health of the cattle. Once we determine a trend, okay, so this year is poorly performing year after year, then we can communicate with them and let them know, hey, he's not performing. We share with them because at the end of the day, uh, we're trying to improve their herd and, and, and at the same time, that will improve our herd. I love being able to set my own destiny. When you work with your family, the lows are lower, but the highs are higher. And being able to work with people that you want to spend your life with, not just my family, but my farm family, and being able to decide you know, where you want to take your operation and having that control is an absolute blessing. I came here in 1974, about 48 years ago, and I've been here ever since. I'm the first of four generations. I got two sons that worked here, a grandson and a great-grandson. We're kind of like one big family here, at least I am because I've been here so long, and we get along great. This farm is nothing without the people that we surround ourselves with, from our nutritionists to our veterinarians to our salesmen, our coworkers, our employees my partners, or just we're not anything without the people that we surround ourselves with. You have to have a lot of faith in the people that you have working with you. They may not do it the same way, but you gotta have different ways to look at things and do things better. My children are doing that. We're taking things in a lot of different directions. And I encourage that because if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. And that has always been what we have done in this business, in our family.